Okay, in this video, we're going to look at arteries that supply the head and neck and also the upper limb. We're gonna start just by drawing a very simple heart here in the middle of the screen. You can see this is not anatomical, but that's okay. The next thing we're gonna do is mark some landmarks that are gonna be important for us. So we're gonna mark the position of the diaphragm. I'm also gonna mark a dotted line here that represents the position of the first rib and also the border of teres major. The next landmark that's gonna be important is this triangular region here, the cubital fossa found at the anterior aspect of the elbow. Now we're gonna start looking at the arch of the aorta coming off the heart. Now the arch of the aorta is asymmetrical at first. It has just three branches. And so we're gonna label those one, two, and three. And that will represent number one, the brachiocephalic trunk, number two, the left common carotid artery, and number three, the left subclavian artery. Now, if we look at the first branch, the brachiocephalic trunk, if we break that word down, brachio refers to arm, cephalic refers to head, and the word trunk tells us that this artery is going to branch again. And so let's do that. We'll show this split, okay? Number four is going to be the right common carotid artery, and number five will be the right subclavian artery. So you can see now that we ultimately do have four branches and therefore we have symmetry. If we continue to follow our subclavian artery on this side and everything's going to be symmetrical, as the subclavian artery passes rib one, it's going to change names. And so now we're going to call this the axillary artery and I'll label that number six. As soon as we exit the axilla at the lower border of teres major, this artery changes names again and now becomes the brachial artery and it will continue to be the brachial artery until it reaches the cubital fossa. The brachial artery has one major branch in the arm. So we'll draw that here. And this is called the profunda brachii artery or the deep branch of the brachial artery. Just distal to the cubital fossa, the brachial artery is going to split into two branches. We can label these number nine and number 10. On the lateral side, we're going to have the radial artery, and on the medial side, we'll have the ulnar artery. And these terms correspond to the bones in the forearm. Once we get down to the hand, these arteries will each give rise to a palmar arch that anastomoses or feeds back into the other artery. If we look back up at our common carotid arteries. The word common is like the word trunk and it indicates that artery is going to branch again. So let's do that. We'll show each of our common carotid arteries branching. And we'll end up with our internal carotid arteries and our external carotid arteries. And those are gonna be important for a future video where we look at the blood supply to the brain.